Oh, didn't see you there. My name is Carlsberg Ronald Henson. Would you like to hear a story? Alrighty, kids. There once were two boys named Herb and Ben. These two boys were real movers and shakers in their time. One day, bored as a sleepy dog on Columbus Day, the two boys decided to partake in a chilly glass of milk. Running to the fridge, the two boys opened the fridge to find the milk jug had only one glass of milk left. The battle had begun. Ben and her father the milk that something magical happened. They were sent back in time to New York in 1887. What is that old in that possession? It's a GPS, you old fart. <laughs> you boys are crazy. Time to go back to the asylum. Get in there, you darn heathens. <laughs> How long are we, are we gonna be here for? I don't know. Hello! Where are we? Black Oh no! <laughs> Hi, I'm Herb Marcus, and this is Ben Nelson. Who are you? I'm Nellie Bly. How'd you get here? Well, I'm on an undercover mission with the New York world to expose the horrors of the insane asylums. I have experienced vermin-infested food, abusive nurses, and rats. The conditions here would make a normal person go insane. What were some of your major accomplishments? I was one of the first female investigative reporters. I wrote many articles on the life of women, and I went to Mes Mexico, and they didn't like this, so they kicked me out of their country. I also worked for my dream job of the New York world. I published 10 days in a madhouse after I was released from this place. Um, I invented the milk can. I um, got married to a beautiful man that I love very much. And then I sailed around the world in 72 days, 6 hours, 11 minutes, and 14 seconds. Wow, that's impressive. 72 days? should citizens of America be concerned about this place? The terrible conditions that I have brought to attention are insulting to society. People should be concerned about how these people are being treated. If you were forced to live in this place because you're mentally sick or your family forced you into this hospital, would you want a comforting environment in which to live or a bad one? These conditions seem not appropriate for anybody. If we ever get out of here, what advice do you give the children of 2011? If I could give the kids of 2011 advice, I would tell them that you can always find some way to do what you love no matter what, you, what people say you should and shouldn't do, and always follow your dreams. That is quite deep. Mark, how are you even gonna get out of here? I have no idea. Well, I invented this milk can! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, Herb! That was a crazy adventure we had! I know, Ben. See you later! Was that Nelly? I don't know. Wanna hang out? Sure. Alright. Oh, oh. 
Hey, get in there, you darn heathens.